Yo, what's up, y'all? This is your boy Raw coming at you raw. I hope your day is all well, and God bless you for stopping by. Now look, this is Gaming Talk 25S. I'm here with my dudes, but before I bring them in, please guys, rate this video. Hashtag like or hashtag dislike. Let me know in the comment section below. Both ways help me out. It, it, it helps me to deliver better content for you. Thank you. Also subscribe here. Consider subscribing here at this channel for more gaming news from console to PC and maybe even tablets and phones. Now without further ado, bringing in my dudes who are regulars in gaming talk. First, bringing in my dude Fresh. Prince, the gamer, say hey to the people. What is up, everybody? Prince the Gamer, a.k.a. Mr. Fence, a.k.a. Yes. Let's get straight to the topic. Let's get straight to these topics. Let's go. That's right. Now, <laughs> his link to his channel will be in the description. Follow him. He's been pumping out those videos. And I'm proud of you, boy. I'm proud of you, boy. You know? That's what's up. Yeah. Keep going. I'm trying to make up make up that time. That's right. Without that time uh, I missed. All right. All right. Awesome. Now, my other homie, Big Butter. Maslin, say hey to the people. What's going on, people? It's Maslin. You know, it's back in with another game and talk. We're talking games. Y'all listening about us talking games. Y'all hit us in the comment section. And y'all hit that like button. Oh. Five <laughs> times this time. Five times. Hit it five times real quick. Bam, 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 bam. Like no. that. And if you do drop a like, make sure you say hashtag like because I don't know if y'all seen the video, my last video. I'm doing a giveaway. We almost had a thousand here on the channel. And I told y'all a while back I was going to do a giveaway. So hashtag like. Or, like I said, if you dislike the video, say hashtag dislike. You know, I know you might say, I don't want to tell them I dislike the video. Look, that junk helps me support. It, it, it gives me feedback to better and, and, and all that good stuff. So. If you want to enter in that giveaway, make sure you're a regular at the hashtag like and pressing like following me on Twitter at Raw Wilson one And Maslin, while I'm talking about Twitter, tell the people where they can find you at on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter is the real Maslin, D-A-R-E-A-L-M-A-S-T-A-L-I-N. That's right. The real yeah. Maslin across the board now. Everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere there can possibly be a Maslin, it is the real one. Yes. And, and yes, I will, oh, all my dudes' oh, channels will be in the description. Follow them, support them also. And look, 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 look. If you a real hardcore supporter, you know, hashtag like in their videos also. Let them know that you're pressing that like button. It really does help and all that good stuff. But now, oh yeah. But, oh, 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 oh. Listen, what? Listen. We'll go ahead. Everybody, right now, I know you're listening. I know you're listening. So right now. Hit the like button. If we can get 10 likes. Oh. Okay. We can get 10 likes on this video. 10 likes. That'll do us a, a huge favor. This is 10. Just, let's just get the 10 likes and we're going to go from there. Okay. Right. And like subscribe that. and share this video on your Twitter, your Instagram. Screenshot the video. I'm talking about sharing this. Help, yes, help us out. Right. Send it to your mama. Dean. Send it to your yeah. mama. Send it to all of them. <laughs> Well, look. Without further ado, hold up a second. I just got a, I just got a text message from Pixel saying he's at work. So that's interesting. When are you off? <laughs> anyway, though. Huh? Yeah, that was unclear. Pixel, follow him too, and all that good stuff. Anyway, we're gonna move into the first topic of gaming talk. Twenty-five S. Stay tuned. All right, we are in the next part of Gaming Talk 25S. This is the next part, which is gaming news. Now, this is the point of the show where, or at least segment, where we just give you the relevant news of this week. And do we have a list here? Okay, we're not gonna be on this too long, but you know what? We're gonna tell y'all guys how we feeling about this news and what it is. First point is Project Cars 2 announced. Uh, this trailer is out on the YouTube, so if you curious on Project Cars 2, my boy Fresh actually did a video about it too. So yeah, Project Cars 2, are you guys happy? I'm happy about it. I'm excited it's coming to VR. It will have VR support. And um, you do already know what's, what's 
gonna happen to that PS4 Pro? Oh. I already know. Oh! Maslin, are you happy now, about PC, Project Cars? Project is gonna support up PC here, PC fans, so good news for y'all is support up 12K. So y'all gotta stretch them screens out. Oh. 12K? What? Yeah. yeah it, it, when, they, when they had multiple monitors. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Uh, I, I run a triple monitor setup, so they're talking about peripheral. So if you have a rig strong enough to display multi outputs, then you can pretty much run screen view, like if you're sitting in the car. Don't you see and the borders, yeah, though? Four times three. Don't you see the borders yeah. of the screen, though? Yeah. yeah you see the borders of the screen, but you see most of the screen. It's a panoramic view. I don't know those those boxes, Mike. Anyway, I never tried it, so look, ah. that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool to say the least. Yeah. But, but yeah, that's Project Cars too. And and Maslin, you said you cool, you you happy about this announcement? Yeah, I, I like Project Cars. Nice. I like the first one. I don't like it. They are yeah. they're a simulation driver. So if you are arcade driver like me, you won't <laughs> like it. These are hardcore, realistic simulation uh, kind of games, and if. You uh, about that? You're gonna dig this because this game is gonna go beyond and above uh, detail. Detail is gonna be crazy in that game. Yeah, the detail is gonna be crazy. But uh, I, I was never a real huge racing sim fan, but I think I might get back into it this year because Gran Turismo uh, Six was the last one I played. Mm, mm, mm. Well, that is Project Cars too. Go check out the trailer and all that good stuff. Now the Knicks, the yeah. Knicks is Greedfall. Greedfall got a is it is it okay look I, I I know a little bit sad on my part I didn't <laughs> I didn't write who it's no, from no, I I didn't write who it's from but hey do you know what what Greedfall it looks like it's look I can't even it, no gameplay was shown a, a new is a new IP is a new game a trailer has dropped check out Greedfall that's greed G R E E D F A L L who is it from do y'all know. Uh, Green Fall is from uh, this. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Focus, focus home, home interactive. interactive. That focus who? Yeah, focus home interactive. Focus home interactive. Oh, that's the people who made. Oh my word! Hold up, that's the same people who did uh that Mars game. Virginia, right? No, the Mars. Not Virginia. The Mars, that Mars game, the Technomancer. Yeah, Technomancer. that's them. That's yeah. them. Oh, okay. Well, this game gonna be a flop, so get ready. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I'm playing. The trailer looks epic. It looks like The Witcher with 17th century weaponry. All right, like it, it looks yeah, it, basically it like that. It is. It's, it's an RPG, a fantasy RPG game. And look, if y'all seen the trailer, at the end there was another character that looked like the, the you know, the human character in the in the trailer. So I'm thinking it has some kind of multiplayer. And look, I don't mean competitive. I'm just talking about more than one person can play. That's what like I'm feeling. Co-op. Yeah. co-op. Yeah, some type of co-op. In That's it. what I'm thinking. Yeah, and, and That's what I got for it. Looked pretty. It looked pretty cool to like uh, what happened and everything. It looked. It looked cool, but we still don't know nothing about the game at all. No, who's the pro, who the protagonists are? Because those people right there could be, you know, enemies. That probably not even you. Those those humans. So mm -hmm. you never know. If humans hunting you or you hunting somebody else. You never know what it is. Right, Maslin, you got any two cents on it? No, I, it didn't show me any gameplay, so I, I literally know nothing about this game. Oh, I don't get excited oh. over CGI trailers. <laughs> Who said it's about getting excited about CGI trailers? Yeah, that thing looks like PS2. Oh, <laughs> I, look, look, look. All I gotta say is, um, if it is The Witcher with tw uh, 17th century weaponry, people in the comment section was talking about Bloodborne. It looked like him, but um, look. I'm excited for new but, games. Like, we don't know whether it's going to be first person, third person, whether it's going to be an RTS. It says it's going to be an action RPG, sure, but, like, that literally tells me nothing about how this game will look, play, or what it's about. Therefore, no excitement whatsoever. No, I, I find excitement in just new announcements because the speculation that comes after it is just really cool. Because, you know, we can speculate on it, but I'm not trying to do that here all day long, but... If it if it, it looking like how it looking, I think it might be uh uh, it might be a third person game. It might be a third person game. Oh, definitely, yeah. I don't understand why it would be a first person game. Well, like, they are oh, they are like using weapons. RP I understand that, but most uh, yeah. most RPG games are in third person. You right today. 
So Yeah, I think I think I think oh. we gotta wait to see more Technomancer, on Technomancer, was it? Technomancer, yeah. Technomancer is the third person. Technomancer is I mean, I mean I mean like they not Technomancer, bound bound by flame, the there there was like half and half their other game. So I, I don't Again, I'm not going to get excited or discouraged until I see something that no, 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 is we substantive. <laughs> no, we ain't excited. I, look, look, Green, mm-hmm. Greenfall, I saw that video upload 5 o'clock in the morning. They think that like it's an empty title. So not, they don't even really care. they just like, okay, we got y'all. We're just going to upload the video. We ain't going to have no press co- conference about it. Just throw it up. But look, about Greenfall, and we can move on. PS4 and what? Xbox One definitely... Though it's going to be a, a game on those platforms, being that both Sony and Microsoft on their YouTubes for PlayStation and Xbox it's had that trailer. Too. Definitely on PC, it's definitely. Coming. But um, yeah, it's coming out there. Yeah, all three of them. That's even, Switch. Even the Switch. Yes. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. I said all three. You know, I said all three. And that's, I said a, that about the Switch. that's a little bit sad. All right, look, look. Moving on to the next point. Playground, the guys behind Forza Horizon, the second party, is making a new IP slash game. Maybe an Xbox game or not. That is the reason why I put a question mark on the end of that is because it's not the studio is uh, is not owned by Microsoft. You know, like I said, the no, second mind. party. But no, no. but Wait, I say, well, okay, go ahead, but, go ahead. What'd you say, Fresh? I, I, okay, I, I I seen the title. It said, um, you know, playground. I don't. I haven't seen anything from it. What is it? What is playground? That's the comp. That's the playground studio. is Forza Horizon. Yeah, I just said that. So you said it's Forza Horizon. The people behind yeah, they're the Forza Horizon developers. Oh, people made. Oh, okay, okay. And Forza Horizon, I heard only good things. Oh wait, I, I said Forza Horizon, but they did two, obviously, right? Forza Horizon and Forza Horizon. Yeah, two. yeah, Forza Horizon two. Yeah. yeah um. Uh, and you said it's supposed to be an exclusive? Well, you don't know if it's exclusive? Yeah, they don't know. They haven't said anything yet, yeah. one way or the other. <laughs> I, I it, said maybe an Xbox not. exclusive because, like, okay, it might not be owned by Microsoft. Okay, let me think about Sony uh, second-party game relationships, right? Like, Insomniac are behind the Ratchet & Clank series, correct? And... Like they and those games are exclusive to Sony, and those they them and you know Sony hold hands in the beginning cycle right up there uh, against their games and whatever. But eventually they did a Sunset Overdrive, which was exclusive to Xbox. But yeah. Playground, Maslin, maybe you could fill in the gaps here. Has Playground worked with Microsoft for a long, long time? How long has Playground been working with Microsoft? Uh, pretty much as long as they've existed. What does that mean? No numbers here? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know exactly how long Playground's been around, but they've been working with Microsoft the entire time. Right. So that's oh, why it's more it. likely for them to do uh, Xbox game. If not uh, exclusive, uh, definitely a timed exclusive and not an exclusive, but definitely holding hands with Microsoft. If, if to say the least, right? It'll it'll all require it, it'll just come down to funding. Yeah, uh, funding will be what will decide whether or not they have stay with Microsoft or try to branch out multi plat. Mm-hmm. My my gut feeling is that they will maintain their relationship with Microsoft and they will um have like a what do you call it a a windowed thing where they're on Xbox for a while, then PC. That's just my mm-hmm. gut feeling. Whether mm-hmm. or not that actually comes to fruition, we'll see. Yeah. See. And wait. So wait. What is this? What you mean? Like y'all know what the game is about? No, we don't. No, they just announced it. They, just like oh, okay. with which one? Color? I have no. Greedfall. Greedfall. <laughs> well, I, Dog in his fight. Well, so if they go. This is, is this a, this you said this is uh, made by the same people who made Forza, right? Forza Horizon. Forza Horizon. Okay, well, here's my, uh, I'm going to add my two cents in here. This is going to happen, and I have a feeling that, um, I mean, because they already have an exclusive with Xbox, I think, they if I, listen, if I already have an exclusive for the platform, and I, it's selling good, but the other people, they, they, they have, they sold more consoles, so I'm not going to, this, this one right here, 
it's going to be relevant for everybody is because we need the funds. We've been we've been losing money by not putting this our game on other consoles. Period, mm-hmm. especially PS4, as they they making the most money over there. People developers dropping their games all over there. So, in my opinion, that's what I would do. Yeah. That's what I would do. But uh, it, it, I don't know what kind of moves they making over there. Playground, I I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know what this could be. Hope not a race, nothing racing game. No, I don't think. No, it they is. said it's not a racing game. Yeah. They already established okay. it has nothing to do with racing. They, okay, because they didn't the car, say driving. Like, they up, didn't say like, driving though, so you never know. The driving no, might. They said it has nothing to do with driving. No, they said racing. Has, no, they said driving. That's what they said, but like, like I said, it doesn't. I don't. Hold up, I, heard, I, I don't I, know I, one way or the other. I think they said. <laughs> I think they say racing, but at the end of the day, none, 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 none you oh. know, none of these. That's a new IP from Playground. Uh, stay close. We're going to stay close to, I guess, ears on the ground uh, to see what develops from that. <laughs> but, I, yeah, uh, I see what you're saying, Fresh. You know, it'll be smart for them to continue doing an exclusive Horizon, uh, you know, uh, a Forza Horizon 3, 4, 5 with Xbox and then having another project that's on every platform because uh, if yeah. that'll be just money, you know. But uh, going to the yeah. next point, so we won't stay too long on that. The next point is E3's public for the first time. Tickets are ranging from 150 to 250, though 150 being early bird. And maybe, and this is my speculation here, uh, maybe they're doing this whole public thing, right? It's because it's making up money for the situations of developers pulling out of E3. Because you know we've been here for, for years, developers trying to pull out of E3, and EA has already said they're doing that EA play not being at E3. So, like, making money back, get those, get get um, the public in there to pay to pay the bill. So, that's my speculation, but what do you guys feel about whole E3 being public for the first time, though? That's not the first time. Th- this isn't the first time in a long time, though? It's the first time in a long time, but I it guess that's to what be I public mean. until about eight years ago. I guess that's what I mean. Though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, they, they've been moving towards this for like the last three years. They When they went to like, first it was like, they when they went to exclusive, it was like to all like game people. So that was including like GameStop employees. Then they went to press only for a, a little while. Then they went to um, developers and certain press. And then... They went back to game people, and then they went a certain contingent of people who can uh, get in from public up to a certain amount. So they've been going back into this this realm for a minute now. So see, that's yeah. I think I think it's what you think, Fresh. Go ahead. I think this is. I don't know, man. I think it's like. I, I'm looking at it in a different way. That is a good way of looking at it. Like, they're trying to, you know, pay the bills. But I'm thinking, like, wow, well, they want everybody here probably for a reason. They may announce something special. They probably got some special giveaways that, that they too. probably don't for the first time. Or, you know, maybe they really show on Spider-Man or you might something might happen. Something, might, something, something good might happen. You never know. But it might not just be, you know, they just want money. It may be something, like, really good. They might This might be... They probably trying to top at last year's E3 in the year before. This is probably like the closest they probably can do, and going in depth in E3 so everybody can see it. Because let me say this about those theaters around the world. It, once they probably found out how many people going to those theaters, they probably like you know what? Well, everybody can come now. Everybody can come because if, if they, they got about the PlayStation over experience there and everybody going to them, yeah, that PlayStation experience. So they they probably was looking at that like how many people around the world was watching that. That's money. That's money that they was like they looking at. That's we up in there watch for free in a the theater. It's the closest thing to E three, right? But on the screen, hold on, like everybody yeah, yeah. was around. Hold on, yeah, we did. Huh? Hold on, wait. The PlayStation Experience was E three. See, I'm thinking the PlayStation Experience was the thing at the end of the year. Uh, Sony does, but that was E three. No. Yeah, that yeah. is PlayStation Experience. Hold on, then what the what heck? Are you talking about? PlayStation, <laughs> yeah, PlayStation yeah, Experience PlayStation. is in December. Hold up, then what are we talking about? Yeah, the theater. What's that called, Fresh? No, no, no. It is called PlayStation Experience. What that PlayStation Experience is, 
where okay it's the playstation e3 experience that's what it's called i have both of my uh my vip uh pendants right here yeah i do too I, right i'm here. looking at it now yeah <laughs> but yeah, yeah e3, e3 experience, experience right? <clears throat> so yeah they looked at that and they probably want to start charging people because we trying to get there as close as possible to e3 and that's the closest thing to us since we can't get in there but like I guess Maslin like Maslin's Maslin like what you mean we oh <laughs> I didn't want to say that I didn't want to say that <laughs> I didn't want to seem like that guy you a little bit sad I knew you were thinking <laughs> no. it that's why I said it out loud <laughs> hey Maslin you hey you trying to go no he ain't uh, trying yeah, I go all the time <laughs> he ain't trying oh, like it, for every year except for the year I was stationed overseas, I'm I'm gone. Oh, look, look, All you better right, be well, vlogging, boy. Might see us over there. I got you. Good. <laughs> have a have a three three sixty uh, camera setup so we can look around you when you walk her <laughs> when you walk in the hallways. Uh, I don't know what kind of seats they gonna have, but man. All I gotta say is fresh. Uh, I get developer passes, so I don't. Hello, what? Look, <laughs> brother. Oh, man. I'm future upcoming developer. That, that come? I want to learn. I want to learn. Like, you ain't <laughs> learning. You just want to enjoy. That's what you want to do. Look, look. All I got to say is about your 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 thought about this whole being public thing because they about to do something big. I don't think Sony and Microsoft has rehearsed anything yet. So the E3 people, they be tweeting, right? I don't think they know what Microsoft and Sony are going to show. Well, definitely they will once they start rehearsing. They're going to be like, wow, this is going to get announced. Oh, no. uh, uh, they, they won't know until they, won't know until they uh, assign them spaces and um, allotment times. And that hasn't once happened. Once that happens, that's when everything will be finite. Like They have like a rough plan of how they will want things to work it, they just don't, they don't exactly know what they're putting out yet so they have rough like um zonal plans for how they want the presentations to go mm -hmm. but that doesn't necessarily um mean that they they have anything exactly down packed yet all right well look 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 you know what i'm saying all i'm saying is fresh that's why i i, I can't agree with your uh, thoughts on it because of the fact that I, look, E3 I, don't know the people at E3 they don't know and I think if I, even if they, were, they rehearse in front of the guys that's hosting are doing E3 the people behind right the whole uh, the whole convention they'll probably say Game X is releasing this date you know like they probably hide the like codename the games and anyway at the end of the day no one knows what Microsoft yeah, and Sony I, is going to show. I understand, but I'm just saying that PlayStation, uh, it's, you know, they they always plan ahead of time. That's why I be. That's why I'm saying like uh, something special might happen. And, I hope and so. Microsoft too. Well, you Shoot. never know, Microsoft. You might I pull so. something off. I hope so. This is this is the year of Scorpio, dog. Like they want everybody to see this. Man, your this voice is. Microsoft is, probably played for this. That reverb is real, right, Maslin? Hold up, can you, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Sound like an accordion. Right, right. Don't he sound like an accordion? I, I, no, I was saying, I was saying, Microsoft probably paid for this public event. They want everybody to see the Scorpio. I can see that happening too. Like one of the dudes told the E3 guys, "Hey, um, we about to show this, that, and the other. Get these dudes hyped for us." But anyway, we uh, we gotta move on. We gotta move on. Uh, right. The next point of news is GTA Five news. Seventy-five oh. million GTA Five copies shipped to stores. Not. In you know not you know like I'm talking about uh, by now right that's what I mean but another bit of the news is the game sold more in 2016 than 2015. Repeat the game sold more last year than it did in 2015. That's GTA 5. No Look all I gotta say is this game's not dying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying like this this like we we yeah. you shouldn't see a uh, 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 old game grow. Unless it's really, really good. So this proves that like this game is oh, not dying. Our game was on sale for about six months. It was right? on sale, but guess what? 
I see games on sale all the time, and I don't buy them. I don't look. Man, no, like might they, buy every game that's was, on sale, but me, I, was thirty dollars. Look, you see Watch Dogs for thirty dollars. You pass it up. Like it don't matter if the game no, is on I, sale. No, it does matter. No, like people, look, look, look you got you got people. It's got to be a good game. Pro. Oh, look, look, the holidays came, summer came last year. You got people buying uh, the new PS4 and all, and they like, oh, because places are getting a lot of love was because of they was talking about VR. VR wasn't even out yet. So them just even talking about other products they're coming out with, somebody probably was like, you know what, I'm going to just buy a PS4 now. And GTA was $30 last summer, the whole summer, all the way up to the, uh, the wintertime. Dude, that's how, that's probably, listen, probably listen. Sold. It doesn't matter if a game is on sale if it's not a no, good game to a lot of people, you know? If it's not a good game to a lot of people, that game is going <laughs> to sell, but not like this. This game well, outsold dude. its 2015. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> well, that's good. Good revenue. Look, Rush Dogs 2 is trash. I'm sorry. Like, look, not trash. Hey, Matt, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. He's talking listen, about listen. Watch Dogs 2. I'm sorry. <laughs> as, a, as a brand, as a brand, Watch Dogs 2 is garbage because of one. Hold on, why you... As a brand. What, man, no. Listen. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, I know it don't make no sense. I, I'm just saying, listen, when people see that name, Watch Dogs 2, I'm like, oh, no, the first one was I, uh, the first one was messed up. They lied, so I'm not getting no second one. They messed up their whole entire first impression. That's what I'm saying. It got ruined. So why would you buy two? Look, look, look. <laughs> Go ahead, man. <laughs> But people, people bought to, like, cause people you judge a, that's you judge a game based on its merits, not its predecessor's merits. If that's the I'm case, then we would never buy anything. Oh, like, I, I, I'm just going by, I'm just going by the low sales, dog. That's all I'm saying. All right, look, look. look. I wanted to become a Watch Dogs Two discussion. I just want to <laughs> tell you, Matt. I want to tell you fresh that GTA Five, even if it's on sale, a game got to be good for it to sell like this. And all I'm trying to say is GTA 5 is not dying. It's not dying. Master, what you got to say when, about when, that? When, when was the GTA ever dying? It's GTA. <laughs> no, but listen. A new Rockstar game is coming out and everyone's thinking GTA 6 is on the horizon, which it is definitely. But, like, what does this mean, Maslin, to you? This, this game is not dying. It's not going to. It is... Yeah. It is like this, I don't know if y'all know this, but four still sells copies. So GTA games, especially ones that have GTA Online, aren't going to die anytime soon because they have a longevity to them. Yeah. And when Red yeah. Dead comes out, it'll slow down, and most of that will switch to Red Dead. But it'll people will still buy it because GTA. Yeah. Yeah. See, the problem is, raw. You know about GTA, uh, Red Dead. Not everybody else don't. Not every gamer know about Red Dead because Red Dead wasn't even marketed like that. Well, man, listen. So some people don't know it's coming next this year. All I gotta say everybody is knows. Every everybody who plays video games know Red Dead is coming out next this year. Yeah, yeah. Everybody uh, who plays video games. Not everybody. I'll tell you right now. You walk you go walk on the street right now, I'm like, you know Red Dead Redemption 2 coming. They'll be like, What? Really? Just watch. Like right in the comment gotta, section, right in the comment section, did you do what Fresh like, just said? Uh, uh, let <laughs> let us know who doesn't know about Red Dead Redemption Two. <laughs> but yeah, though, no, uh, that was just a bit of news I wanted to throw into the pot because, like, seriously, man, GTA Five is still selling strong. What does this mean for GTA Six? Only time would tell because you know. If I'm about, Hello? if I see my game growing, like if 2017 outsells 2016, and I got a GTA 6, I'm like, bro, should we really kill this thing? You know, that's like when Sony released the Pro. With look, if Sony never released the Pro, I talked about the Pro. PS4 probably would have sold even more. You know, last year, like if the Slim came out and they already talked about it, like I think PS4 would have sold even more. If they didn't say Pro, because literally people stopped buying PS4s, and then when Pro came out, then they decided if they wanted to do PS4 normal or PS4 Pro. So doing the same thing with GTA 6, like, are you really going to kill your, you know, because you could literally... Hold on, who's it? Go they ahead. not coming out with GTA 6. People saying 2020, but I'm just saying they are yeah, coming you know, in the future. Yeah, you know, what's going on? Look, look, they trying to, they trying to uh, 
build a different, uh, not build a different foundation. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but basically what's going to get everybody off of GTA Online since they shutting it down is they bring, not uh, Red Dead out. Oh, they said they're not shutting it down. They said they're not shutting it down. Yeah, on the investor call, um, the CEO said, uh, and I quote, there's space for both Red Dead and GTA to exist within the same space. Nice. We well, have no in- intentions of slowing content for GTA just because Red Dead 2 releases. Good, thank you. Because everybody was talking about when Red Dead right. comes out, that everybody was good, that they were going to switch everything over to Red Dead and shut down GTA yeah. 5. But he said no. He straight said no. Yeah. That was stuck because all them shark cards you spent money on and then all that, yeah, that might be messed up. Yeah, it will so. be messed up if GTA online ever shuts down because of what people are literally mm-hmm. spending every day on it with you know like like people are spending money every day on that game it's crazy yeah what's going to have to happen is when they do make another gta it's going to have to be transferable all your money and everything will have to be onto the next that game. will be smart have to. that will be smart that will be smart i, I 100 yeah. percent agree with that all right well, look we're not going to stay on there too long but the next bit yeah. of news i got two more left um Dark Souls 3, the Rained City gameplay trailer is now out. So you Dark Souls fans, you know, you Hello. guys go check out go check out that trailer. It's out on the YouTubes. It's Dark Souls 3, the Ringed City. That's an expansion, Maslin? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's an expansion. You guys play Dark Souls? Yeah, I'll play yeah. Uh, share play. Oh! I played it on share play after Johnny shared it with me. Like, that game, uh, yeah, man, I'm good. I, I I'm not saying I ain't never gonna play it and beat it, but it's just I ain't in no rush to play that game. Definitely not. Like it, it's it's great though for what it, for what it's trying to do. Yeah, and I don't play or what it's doing. Or what it's doing? Hey, you play Lords of the Fallen yeah. fresh? Did you like that? I mean, I'm gonna tell you, yeah, I play Lords of the Fallen, but one problem with that game, mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe it's just me or my copy, but it's a point where I'm at where I just like you know what? Yeah, it ain't even no point of playing this because. I can't even run past the enemies and go level up. I can't do nothing. I'm stuck. So I said, you know what? I'm deleting this trash. <laughs> oh. I can't do nothing. I can't beat them. Oh, snap. Like, seriously, I'm yeah, So look, I mean, like, this is game breaking for real. It's no look, good. I like chang- I challenging games, but I, don't, I, I want everything to be on level playing field. You know what I mean? I want you to outplay me like in For Honor, you know? Like, For Honor, I want you to outplay me. Not just, yeah. hey, I'm, I, I'm 100 and you're... Level two, two, you know, I'm going to kill you. Now, look, Maslin, like in real life, your level, however old you are, and I'm, you know, I'm 25. Uh, so, I mean, 24, 25 on March 9th. Uh, so, I'm level yeah, I got 20. nothing to do with it. No, I'm just saying if we were to put it in games, you know, like he got that amount of experience and I got 24 amount of experience. But a, 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 a sword can still hurt Maslin, even if that dude is higher level. And I like that kind of level system where the level is just saying how how, how long he's been in this thing versus... Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're telling me a sword would hurt Maslin. It, it would hurt me more than it would hurt Maslin. No, it'll hurt, hurt both of y'all the same way. But my whole thing is when, when, he's, when not, he's trying to he's trying to make a, an analogy to <laughs> the leveling systems in games. <laughs> I know I'm not messing, but I'm just raw, man. <laughs> yeah, so I like, like that no. kind of level system where the level doesn't matter; it's all about skill. So anyway, um, going uh, going to the last bit of news. Speaking of Dark Souls, Niho, a PlayStation exclusive game that released uh, last Tuesday. Um, it was uh, yeah, two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. It, it, the reviews are up and they're good. And some people are even with a question mark. God of I say God, uh, uh, game of the year with a question mark. <laughs> I I played the beta, the alpha, and all that good stuff. Uh, Fresh did too. Maslin, have you played the final copy yet? Yeah, played about an hour of the copy I have. Did you like it? Do you like it? Uh, it's like Dark Souls to me. When I played it, it felt like I have like to be Inuyusha. in the mood to play a Dark Souls game. So I, I, I'm not, I don't see myself playing Neo until I feel like playing that type of game. I feel you. Yeah. I, I say I this. I say this though. I'm a dude who don't like Dark Souls. I'm a dude who even turned away from Bloodborne. But Niho, son, if you like Unamusha, those those vibes are strong with this one. If you like the Ninja Gaiden, it's from Ninja Team. Ninja Team or Ninja Theory? Who is it? Team. Team Ninja. 
I was close, but Team Ninja is from the people behind uh, Ninja Gaiden and really does, like, Dark Souls in, in, in my, I guess, re reference would be the last reference because, man, when I was playing Unimusha, that's that's those themes I was feeling when I was playing the Alpha and the uh, the, the, the Beta because of the fact that it is set in um, China, it's Japan, right? Uh, fetal, f fertile Japan, how you say that word? Fetal Japan? How fetal. Fetal, okay. Yeah. Fetal. Feudal. Feudal. I was saying it wrong still. Feudal Japan. Japan. Um, so yeah, dude, that those those things are strong with this I, one. And and like I said, I don't like Dark Souls. R was curious on Bloodborne, and I enjoyed it. So I would advise you if you have a PlayStation Four, try that game out. Pick it up. Rent it. I I, I I'm 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 not I'm, like seriously, man. You guys want to buy everything and be complaining about it? Rent the thing if you like it, then buy it. But but yeah, dude. Yeah. Look who's talking, but all right. No, hey, look gonna, who's gonna, talking. Gonna, I do my <laughs> rent But, uh, yeah, no, no. But, uh, yeah, Neo, go cop that Neo, man. It's, uh, look, get ready to die. That's all I'm saying. Dean! That's a little bit sad. A little bit uh, realistic. But hold on, though. It's realistic. This is, we, we are, uh, Maslin, uh, just, just, uh, Maslin, wait, Maslin, <laughs> wait, 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 wait now. I know you want to go ham in the paint, but how much do you have? Because we, we, uh, yeah. put this as a part two. I have my one, two, three. I'm not my eight things, probably. Eight things? Can, okay, we throw it in. Quick. We throw it in here. So, All, right. All right. This is the part of the video where I'm gonna tell you guys about the giveaway. It, this is like a giveaway reminder. I told you guys like 500 subs ago, or maybe even. Uh, 300 subs ago, which I am gratefully thankful for all you dudes who pressed the subscribe button. Thank you. 